I could only take 200 out. I thought, why didn't I buy gold in South America, South Africa, South Africa? I didn't do it. And just telling you, the biggest church there gave me an apartment for four months without any questions. Are you listening what God will do if you prepare the way for the Lord to yes. work? Yes. Prepare the way. Be in constant yes. prayer. There won't be heartache. There won't be problems. I'm getting you ready because the day is coming when God's going to call a lot of you to go. To go. You have to go. I can see it on your faces in this room. Yes. Go. Go like you are. Yes. The little woman that went to, uh, uh, in the Bible, what's his name? Um, in the Old Testament, Naaman. Yeah. Right. He thought Elijah was going to come over. He didn't want to believe the, the word of the little handmaiden. The, she was captured, captive, a little Jewish handmaiden. He said, you go over and tell him to dip in the muddy Jordan. No, he didn't want to do that. He wanted to go where the water was cleaner. It was his obedience got his miracle. Your obedience is going to cause God to bless you and so you can hardly handle it. Yes, that's right. That's true. Are you listening to me? It's true. Even a sinner that's the most worst heathen in the world is pleasing to his mother and father. The Bible will give him 70 years, it says. Just the worst sinner. He's not even saved. Take God for his word and what he says to you. And it's just a little word. He might just say one word. Because he doesn't have to speak to you in dreams or paragraphs or sentences anymore because you know him now. Hallelujah. You know him. Like a man knows his wife after so many years. Are you listening yes. to me? The wife knows her husband with that just a look. Come on, God, look at us. Please That's look right. at us. That's right. Come on, look at That's us. Right. Just by a look. Yes. Hallelujah. Across the room. <laughs> Woo! How'd you like to have a husband like that, ladies? None of you don't want a husband. Okay. Thank you for coming, Claire. Here goes one of God's apostles. Here she goes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. You don't need money. You need faith in God. You need prayers in God. Investing in God. Come on. You don't worry about the money that's coming. God will have an angel everywhere to help you. He'll have people waiting on you. Listen to me. I'm telling you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I stayed in Turkey for six weeks with $33. And got to see the seven churches of Asia. The lady I'm living with that got saved, I told you, on the block where my sister lived, the bank calls her. We, I, I said, Lord, I've been here five weeks and I haven't seen Ephesus yet. She gets a call, can you come to the bank? You've got some money to come in and we want to know what you want to do with it. She turns and looks at me. I don't know what it's about, Ruth, but they said I have some money, I better go down. She comes back in the house like this. Wow. Hallelujah, she said. She's only been saved six weeks. We're going to take a trip. Hallelujah. Where are we going? Wherever you want to go. And I'm getting ready to open my mouth and say I don't have any money. And before I could say it, she said, and don't worry, you don't have to pay a penny. She said, it's enough money for both of us to go. Where do you want to go? And I kept praying. I thought, I'm going to live in Turkey the rest of my life. I'll never get home. Listen, I did. But you see, you got to trust God and he's working on the other end of your life. Come on. He's working at your feet when you're working with your head. He's working for your feet. He's going to move your feet. We traveled all over Asia where the seven churches of Asia were. We got into the government. We got into the Catholic Church. Come on. Hallelujah. Whoa, Jesus. Do it again. Come on. Yes, Come on. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again.
You will suffer in the natural for the great things of God. It's, that's just the way it is. You read every man of God in the Bible. If their name was mentioned, their lives were put on the line. But it's in the suffering that you see the great things of God. Everybody listening? I mean, when somebody asks you how are you, say, I'm cooking in the fire. <laughs>
that's quite a vision. Now she's talking about Kay and Rob Winters. Oh. Uh, prepare the way. She took it before him to read it. Because he's very prophetic. He's got a wonderful prophetic word. We're not running after the prophet. We want to hear from heaven. Yes. How many know what I'm talking about? Yes. We want to hear from heaven. And I, I wrote these things down. God wants to give us a greater sensitivity to the nature of what he's doing. Now those four states do come together. We know there's a lot of witchcraft in all four of them, a lot of artwork, a lot of devil worship. But God wants us not to be afraid of the unknown. Don't be afraid of the unknown. You know there's something there, but he'll test us to see if we will come after it, if we will search for it. Remember that. Remember the lady said she only had three numbers of the prefix. God could have given her the whole phone number she could have called. But there was more working in the network of what God was showing her. So he wants you, he, he wants you to allow him to reveal what is fresh and pure all the time. Because it's coming from the throne of God. I mean that they have a wonderful prayer meeting there every Monday at eleven o'clock. Eleven to one. They wait on the Lord and his church has grown in big steps in just a short period of time. Because they're the apostolic church. They're doing, they're fasting, praying. They have a prayer meeting before the service and every service they go to there. They, in a separate room, they go and have a prayer meeting. Uh, he is an apostle. I would say he's an apostle. He's building up the church, taking care of the church. Amen? So you want to be a people, whatever God tells you to do, do it. And this is where divine health, healing, and miracles. The Lord spoke to us audibly in Australia over the PA system. We're just sharing about miracles. And a man's voice came over the... I'm talking to them about revival. And the voice said... I had to ask the girl, Michelle was with me, what did the voice say? She said, the voice said the next revival is going to be a revival of healing miracles. Hallelujah. Miracles of healing. Like the little autist yes. autistic boy came home healed and didn't know he'd ever been yes. sick. Wow. Can you imagine, Mary Ann? This boy came home, <laughs> said to his mother when he got off the bus, why do you send me to that school where everybody talks strange? He had autism when he went to school. When he came home, he was healed. <laughs> he was healed. Come on, believe for the lightning. Instant, 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 instant. You know, we get instant coffee, instant hot chocolate, instant food. Come on. God moves faster than that. He moves with lightning. Hallelujah. Lightning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see it many times. Lightning and thundering. It rained so hard at my house, I didn't even hear a wind blow. But six blocks down the street, it blew the awning off of the, what do you call it, off the gas pump. And hit cars, just fell down on cars. And the people happened to be in the station. Big Cadillac's parked there, another car is parked there. It just fell off. The whole awning just fell down. But I didn't hear anything out of my house. I'm just up the street. But you be under the spout where the glory comes yes, out. That's right. You be under the spout. Hallelujah. Tell Lord you want some instant something. Not pudding now. Come on. You want some instant help from heaven. Some instant blessings from heaven. Woo! I feel it. Hallelujah. Come on. He's a God that works in the moment. In one day, he made us from a nation. In one day. In one day. One day. One day, he can change the mind of social security. One day. What they held back, you can't take. They did something to D, we won't tell the details. I said, well, that's not fair. I don't care what kind of law they have. That's not right. I, how many years went by? Anyway, I said, you ought to give him a call. Just tell him, you know, put the ball in there. you got to put the ball in their hands to see what they'll do with it. I said, just call him and, you know, tell him you feel that money belongs to you. And it was a nice amount they added to her. A little check every time. Come on. It's time. Come on. It's time. God's calling in prayer. He's calling in prayer. Come on. He's 
call it in prayers, but you pray. But you need to dance to it. Don't get worried. Don't get upset. Do some somersaults, flip flops, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. You're doing it, Lord. You're doing it. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. There'll be a restoration. Now look for it. Pray for those four states, New Mexico, Utah, Colorado, and Arizona, where they all come together. God's going to move the devil out of town, out of the country. Out of sight. Out of sight. Praise you, Jesus. Holy, holy, holy. Holy. Yes. Yes, I'm to come on, come on. I've been praying that you hear that. Everybody, you want that holiness is where the glory comes. Right here. I'm not telling you I'm perfect. I lose it, but I'm trying not to lose it. Because you know we go back and find it again and again. Let holiness come unto the Lord. Thank you for sharing that. That's my, my prize, my desire is to have holiness in my life. Holy unto the Lord. See, God wants you to stand where Moses stood. Face to face with the Lord. Are you getting it? Yes. You, you be hungry for it. You be jealous for it. You do whatever you can. You know, it's usually it's not doing all kinds of strange things. But it, it's just obeying the Lord. Obey the Lord. Seek for His highest. Come on. Seek His face. Lord, I want to be a better person. I want to be kind to Come on, tell him. Say it. I want to be kind I want to be a better person. I want to be a more agreeable person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let it come. Let it come down upon you. Let that garment, let that garment of holiness, that garment of righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's coming down. He's coming down. He's turning his people all around, all around with a new sound. He's turning his people all around. Coming down, coming down. His holiness, his purest. He's coming down, he's coming down. His holiness is pure as come on. It's coming down. It's coming down. His holiness is pure. It's coming down. Sing it. His holiness is pure. Turn around. Turning around. He's turning me around. Turning around. I'm getting a new sound, he's turning around, he's turning around, I'm getting a new sound, he's turning around, sounds of heaven, sounds of glory, sounds of heaven, this is his story, sounds of heaven, sounds of glory, he's turning me around, he's turning me around.
Thompson when she was about, oh my, she's almost 90. We prophesied over her. Ruth been dead 20 years. So Ruth must have prophesied over her about 60 or 65. Wow. And this is the word of the Lord. She was a pioneer of the of booth of God. And the word of the Lord was, think not that you're going to get a new mattress or a rocket chair. <laughs> because you have much more work for me to do. Get yourself ready. She came, I don't know how long, I don't think we've done that well. She heard about it. As long as you have breath to breathe, you expect you to pray. As long as you can walk, you expect you to go at least next to the Lord. Come on. He wants you to not be afraid to witness wherever you go. I don't care where it is. You say in the name of Jesus and it tears down. Oh. It tears down the Do well, you know Jesus? Oh, my name. You know him. Are you ready for him? He's coming. Somebody asked me why I was wearing the, the, the uh, I was wearing the Star of David. I said, because I'm married to a Jew. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Married to a Jew. Be an ambassador for Jesus. Be bold, be strong, the Lord is with you.
I would say that they're on the cutting edge. I call them the doctor. They are moving with God. Dennis Copeland's oldest daughter was a scream. Here's this beautiful woman, I say a scream. She got drunk on the platform and they don't know what to do. Because she's in trouble. So they ran up behind her and she runs over like a bull in the bull she in the china shop to the musician and she said, do it like this right now. You know what I'm talking about? This nice sedate woman, y'all dressed in her lovelies. She took off like a bull. She said, she's driving. She didn't know how to say, let's do it like this, she said. Where's Kenneth Copeland? It was something to see. But they threw everything in the basket because they said, we're going to do it God's way. We're going to worship the Lord the way the Lord wants to do it. They're stopping the music and singing the last chorus 20 more times. Hallelujah! Yes, say it. Hallelujah! Yes. Look, and they started a Bible school. They started so many things. They're releasing people. They're anointing it. And pray, anointing and praying over people and releasing them. Every Sunday morning before I leave my house, Deacon Day, I turn it on to get a shot from the Lord. I really do. They're doing something different. It's different. It's completely new pattern. They've got this musician that he flies from California over to Texas. For their, he plays for them every weekend. He flies all the way from California to Texas. He's hungry to see what God's going to do. Yes. You can't put a price tag on this thing. Come on. It's already been paid. Just move with it. Move with it. God has signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Miracles are coming to you. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Miracles are coming to you. Every one of you. Miracles. Miracles, signs and wonders are coming to you. Miracles, signs and wonders coming to you, coming to you. God will turn it around. God will turn it around. God will turn it around. We are glory bound. We are glory bound. Turning around, he's turning around. A brand new sound, cause he's turning around. 
look into your future.
Thank you. 